All right, guys, so now it's nighttime here at SEMA, and I have some time that I can get nice and personal with that Gateway Bronco, I guess, Ford truck, because it's still called Gateway Bronco. So what we have here is a 1972 F350 crew cab, and uh, it was built by Gateway Bronco, of course. And it's got a 7.3 Godzilla with a Harrop TVS 2650 supercharger, Eaton locker, six-speed auto, and so much more. But enough talking about it, let me show it to you guys. So it's got a 67 grill, which is a pretty cool looking grill if I do say so. And uh, we'll just go right into here. As you guys can see, it is a Godzilla motor. This is actually the first truck that I've seen swapped with a Godzilla motor. And not only that, it's a Mass Motorsports Godzilla motor with their 1300 horsepower package. And it has the Harrop supercharger, as you can see right there. It's got a Hydrotech booster, Hydro booster, and then the Willwood Master. And uh, you can see everything looks nice and tidy under the hood. Let's go up front. I don't know the exact axle. Oh, it's just right there. Dana 60. So we got a Dana 60 up front. It's got coil springs and uh, Bilstein shocks. Looks really cool. Everything looks nice and detailed. We've got, I would assume these are 20s. Let me check. 40, 13, 50, 20. Yep. So it's riding on 40s. It's looking real good. And uh, it's got these really nice steps. Over here, you could see the arms kind of coming down everything and then for the back it's still a leaf spring but they put these bars so that way it doesn't roll over you can see it's got limiter straps and then some really nice springs I'm not sure exactly the spring rate full stainless steel tape welded exhaust um, one of the things that i thought was cool was that it has a toolbox on the side i've always liked the toolboxes on these trucks then we get to the back it is all the trim Chrome bumper looks really nice. Back here we have a Dana 80. Again, Bilstein shocks, custom fuel cell. It's looking really nice and detailed. And then let's go on inside. And as you guys can see, the steps actually have an electric fold down on them. The, the back of it is uh, really nice. And the interior is a beautiful distressed leather done in a diamond pattern stitch. Headliner, everything is done. It's really, really cool. Vintage ear, I could see the code of digital. I know they were telling me that the carpet is a German square weave, which is like a big deal. It's got a modern classic radio from Restomod. Again, the vintage ear and uh, this beautiful seat. And that's it. It's a pretty simple truck, but done to the best of its abilities. I mean, Gateway knows what they're doing when they build it. And then if you guys really want to see something, you guys could buy one right over there. $402,000. So that's that one and uh, gonna go find some more.